guys, welcome to my Q&A. Finally, I've done it. I've got round to doing it. I was messing around with my new camera and stuff, getting it all ready. And yeah, I finally managed to do it, and here we are. So let's get on with the questions. So one question that a lot of you have asked, and I'm, you know, I'm just going to put a few examples, but there's been about 30 of these, and it's, am I Portuguese? Well, does my face look Portuguese? Fal Portuguese? Um, maybe I'll let you guys guess. Now, nah, yeah, I'm Portuguese, the home of Cristiano Ronaldo, José Mourinho, Eusebio, and Pimba. So Joseph Enriques asked me, do you like turtles? Well, that depends on which turtles they are. Real turtles or the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? Because actually, I like both. I don't know uh, if there's any difference there. But, in terms of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, it has to be Raphael. It just has to be Raphael. You'd better, or else I'm gonna get sarcastic. So where do I live? Where do I live? Well, that's an interesting question. I live in the UK, but I was born in Portugal and I moved here when I was seven and I've lived all over the place in the UK. I've lived in Blackpool, Scotland, all over the place. Uh, obviously, I'm not gonna tell you where I live now, um, but yeah. Um, Miggy Sun asked me quite a few questions, uh, so I'll start off with Who do you think is the best player at Benfica right now? Well, a lot of people would say Gonçalo Gedge, a lot of people would say Jonas, a lot of people would say Talishka or Gaitan, uh, but no, I'm not going to say any of those, I'm going to say Pizzi, not because he's the most expensive uh, player for Benfica in the history of time and whatever, no, it's because he's an all-rounded player. He holds onto the ball well, he creates chances, and he scores goals, as he did against Maritimo uh, the other day. So yeah, it's pity. Who is your favourite footballer? So a lot of you may not agree with me, but Cristiano Ronaldo, that guy works. He's a workhorse and he wants to be the best. I mean, what's wrong with being the best? I know he's a show-off, but then, then again, he's kind of earned it, really. I mean, the guy's 30 years old and he's still uh, performing at the same level that he was when he was 25. I mean, this guy's an absolute monster. And yeah, I look up to that. I really do look up to that. Historically, I'd say Eusebio. I mean, that guy nearly won us the World Cup in 1966 for Portugal uh, in the semi-finals. I think it was against North or South Korea, where he single-handedly got us back into the game and threw into the semi-finals. Sorry, we were in the quarter-finals and he scored four or five goals to get us back there. And I mean, for Benfica, he's just a legend. That guy's an absolute beast, and he'll go down in history as one of the greatest footballers ever, no doubt. Who will win Euro 2060? Well, <laughs> I want Portugal to win it, of course, but they're not gonna win it, and uh, no doubt it's gonna be Germany. I mean, in the World Cup, they just massacred Portugal, and Brazil! The Champions League, well, that's a tough one. It's either... Barcelona or Bayern Munich, it's one of those two for sure. The Europa League, that's also a tough one. I'd say Borussia Dortmund. BPL, it's got to be Arsenal. I'd love it to be Leicester, but it's going to be Arsenal. Portuguese League, that's a tough one as well. Uh, the Portuguese League, I would say between the top three teams. I mean, I can't really say who. I mean, it's a tough one. Sporting are doing the best at the moment. Porto have just lost their coach, so that might have an effect on them. Uh, but they were winning 5-0 last time I checked. I was checking a uh, live score earlier on. And uh, Benfica are doing well as well, so I have absolutely no clue, but I think it's going to be one of the top three. And thank you for liking my channel. Am I going to do videos with my face on it? Well, I'll leave that entirely up to you. If you like my face, if you want me to do it with my face, just leave a comment down below. And yeah. So the next one is Kat, and he asked me a load of questions. He's asked 21 questions, but I'll go through all of them. Do I have any pets? No, not currently, although I did have a dog. Type of music, I like everything from electro to rock to grunge to hip-hop to reggaeton. I love everything, but I'm not going to go through individual artists. I'm just going to leave it at that, or else I'll be here talking all night, and we don't want that. I also love Pimba. What is the best game I've ever watched live? Well, this one's a difficult one, but it's an unusual one as well. Um, with my work I was out in Romania, and I was lucky enough to see uh, Stawa Bucharest against Ajax in the Europa League, and that is probably the best match I've ever seen, uh, because everyone was expecting Ajax to win, um, and they did score the first goal, I think. Stawa Bucharest absolutely destroyed them. 
uh, in the second half and went through to the next round and it was an amazing atmosphere. Romania is just a great place. What is my local team? Well, I don't want to give away where I live, but I'll tell you what my favourite local team of somewhere where I've lived before, and that would be Woking FC. They're the cards and they're doing quite well in the, I think it's the Ryman Premier or something like that at the moment. Uh, but yeah, they're doing really well. Best of worst moments in football, but I'll tell you what, it was the Euro 2004 uh, final, which was bittersweet. That whole presentation, we got to the final. It's the first final that Portugal ever got to. And um, yeah, we fluffed it up. Favorite food and drink? Uh, food, I would say Chinese and sweet and sour. Drink, I'd say Coke. Not the drug, Coca-Cola. Favorite movie and series? Well, I did like the Lord of the Rings series. I do like Star Wars. Horror films? I would say Saw. I love Saw when it came out, that mystery and all that. It got a bit crazy after a while, but I did love Saw. Series? I love 24. And what am I watching at the moment? I'm watching Quantico, and that is absolutely awesome. Sport besides football? Well, I like a bit of basketball. I used to play golf. There's snooker. I used to play snooker, but I don't know if that's a sport. Uh, handball. If you're Portuguese, you've got to love handball, uh, you've got to love volleyball, and you've got to love beach football. Yeah, beach football, because I think we're the current world champions. What would I rather want to happen? My favourite team win the Champions League, or Portugal winning the World Cup? Uh, well, Benfica have already won the Champions League twice, so I'd say Portugal winning the World Cup. How old am I? Well, I'm not going to give that away, but you can guess and maybe I'll tell you if you're right. What is my first name? Well, you can guess. Most overrated and underrated player. I'd say the most overrated player has got to be Wayne Rooney. For years they've been saying he's the best player in the world, but I completely disagree with it. He's just an average player. He's not quite world class for me. Although, don't get me wrong, I don't hate Man United. Man United's a great team. They've had some fantastic players. Uh, Skulls and Ryan Giggs, etc. Uh, Schmeichel over the years. Uh, a great manager, Alex Ferguson, was fantastic. Um, but yeah, Wayne Rooney was way overrated. Underrated player? I'd say Alexis Sanchez. I mean, he deserved to stay at Barcelona, didn't he? He played really well for Barcelona. And then they just sold him to Arsenal. No disrespect to Arsenal. They're a great team, but... Yeah, he's really underrated. Who will win Euro 2016? I've already said this one. It's going to be Germany, although I'd like it to be Portugal. And Champions League? Yeah, I've said it as well. Bayern Munich. Who will win the League 1? I'd say PSG. Premier League? I've said it. Arsenal. Bundesliga? Bayern Munich? No doubt. Serie A? I don't really keep up with Serie A, so maybe... I don't know, Inter Milan, I don't know who's up there at the moment. Roma, Napoli, I don't know, it could be any of those. Oh, Juventus, of course. How can I forget Juventus? La Liga, probably Barcelona. Primera Liga, probably one of the top three. Um, yeah, but I've talked about this earlier. What is one place I'd love to visit in the world? It would have to be Japan. Japan is just full of culture. It's completely different to uh, probably any other country in the world. Their, their culture is just insane. Uh, I'm into anime, I'm a gamer. It's just a perfect place to go. The food's great. So yeah, Japan. My biggest fear is heights. I can't stand heights. And uh, yeah, I fly around a lot. Uh, but uh, yeah, I hate flying because I have no control. I'm so far up. Yeah, just heights. My name is Slow Mo Nut Kick because uh, we were coming up with names for someone at my work for their Xbox Live account, and we were putting three words together, and Slow Mo Nut Kick came out, and I just liked it. I don't know why. I just liked it. Favorite game besides FIFA? At the moment, XCOM Enemy Unknown, that game is absolutely amazing. I did like the old XCOMs as well, uh, so that's why I love it. I'm playing the crap out of it at the moment. Uh, also playing Fallout 4, that's okay. I was expecting a little bit more from it. I got a bit bored of it pretty quickly. Uh, yeah, and that's it. Best manager in the world. Well, God, this is difficult. Uh, it's not Mourinho, although he was a few years ago. Uh, but he just lost it with Chelsea, you know, sacking that, that physio or, or doctor or whatever she was. Uh, that was harsh. And uh, yeah, he went downhill. Maybe it was karma. Simeone, he's really good, but not the best manager in the world. Arsene Wenger, overrated manager. He should have gone from Arsenal years ago. All those years and he's only won a couple of titles. No, nope. it's Guardiola, isn't it? Guardiola is just the best man. Wherever he goes, he's just superior to everyone else. Uh, he hasn't quite won the Champions League with Bayern Munich at the moment. 
Uh, but it could be this year. It could be this year, his final year with Bayern Munich. He might actually win it, who knows? Yeah, that's my favourite manager. In the past, it has to be Alex Ferguson. Sorry, he's just been the best manager of all time. And uh, no one's touched him. He's just a fantastic manager. You noticed as soon as he left, Man United were just not the same team. They, were, they weren't Man United anymore. They've lost it. Uh, without Alex Ferguson, they're, they're just not Man U.